My name's Yorick, and once more, fellow vampires, we step into the night, and we find out what the hell this Giovanni mansion is all about. What's up? You need sparklies. And lots of people. I don't know what they have to say. Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. I am also a member, a family member. I'm... Uh -huh. And you are? Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. Tell me the rules of this contest. They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. I can fix the contest. Actually, there are two people at this party I know they had their eye on for a long time. One's Chris, my cousin. The other's Adam, who made Bruno a huge amount of money. We don't talk about Bruno. A few years back. With them out of the running, they choose me. What would you pay for their closet bones? I'll spare no expense for a lock. I want to be in that circle of power, and I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. Tell me of this about this powerful circle. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, we don't talk he's about been Bruno. the patriarch of this family. Except he hasn't aged a day. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. Said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. I will discuss this with myself. Hmm. Who else can we talk with? Didn't I see you outside? Who are you it's talking so nice to? to see you again. Yeah, sure. No problem. Hi. I don't think we've met before. It said Victor Rossellini on my invitation. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Everyone here is so serious. Nadia Milliner, it's a pleasure to meet you, Victor. Are you from the Chicago Rosalinis? It's a hell of a town. Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. It'll be revealed to Aunt Frances. Tell me of Nadia. I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. What sights have your young eyes witnessed? I, um, I really can't say much about that. But we are flesh and blood, and so are you. I oh, forget about it, really. It's nothing. You look so grown, but act so illegal. My, my. Then I will leave you alone with your nothing. Okay, I'll show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Promise? Follow me. I will be right behind me. Come on. Bad monkey, no banana. Hey, sparklies. Cool. Can I have this? Well, I guess I don't need the sword now. I already have a broadsword. Come on. I'm following. I miss Nadia.
Not quite the same architecture as before. This looks more like Alistair Grout's mansion. You know what they do in this room? I want to say... Nadia. Mm, I think we better go. You exit. I'll keep enter. I keep entering. I can't leave you here. If anyone finds out... I'll keep my tenac- my tentacles to myself, please. Let's creep around this crypt. Uh, I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me. I'm still behind me. But before I go, I'm gonna take a look around real quick. Ooh, sparklies. Is that it? Yeah, that is exactly what I was looking for. Where did she go? Shh. They don't usually attack. Just don't provoke them. Uh, Nadia? Yep. Nadia. Um. Yeah, he's totally trying to make a swipe at me. Nadia, I think you should leave. It's happening. They're coming to get us. Oh my gosh, we've got to get back here. Tell you what, you play the damsel in distress, and I will play the daring hero. In my last movie, I was a gangster. I might just keep coming back. Stop. Pardon me, excuse me. No sparklies. Game done that. Damn. That means I probably can't use it. Nadia is okay. I'm sure she's fine. I think if your seduction's a little higher, then you can probably uh, seduce it and feed on the young lady. Huh. Uh. Alright. Well then, how about that? Zombies everywhere, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> nope, my brains. Stop it. My brains. Stop it. I need those brains. Yes, yes, yes. You're hitting me with things. Oh, dip. My traps. No sword man is ever trapped. Except when he is. serve a little bit. I don't know how big this place is. Is 
So, Night of Living Dead is probably right. Sword is your go-to weapon, and it is freaking awesome. Um, what's this way? And also, where the hell did Giovanni get their vampiric powers? Something tells me Giovanni is in a normal plan. Nope, oh, still my brains. My brains. Haha, <laughs> I didn't know you could jump over them. That helps. No, Uncle Bob. No brains for you. <laughs> Bob Giovanni. That's funny. Really? Like, we already played this game. Good catch, but still my brains. There's a sparkly door on the other one, so there's got to be a sparkly door down here too, right? Yeah, there we go. So the Giovanni have a giant crypt. Why? Also, where did they learn necromancy? I want to learn necromancy. Yeah, that's actually kind of... God, necromancy... Ah, crap. Necromancy. There were some zombies the last time we got this way. Necromancy and Dementation. That would be kind of like illusion of necromancy. It actually kind of makes me think of this villain I made in D&D. 3.5. Able learner, human, first level. Took a level of rogue. After that, straight wizard until about level 17. And then I took three levels of Archmage. A character is probably my favorite villain. Enoch the Necromancer. Came from a long line of necromancers, you see. He was a weak, frail man. But he was most wise. Very cunning. And he... <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Off with his head. I frequently did things with uh, Enoch, like uh, use uh, Nistral's magic aura and heighten magic to. Uh... Huh. Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now. Or face the consequences of your actions. I'm not down there. How am I talking to this guy face to face? Where do you think this anger stems from? Your father, maybe. There is an alliance between your leader Lacroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. Is there? You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. I did not see these bonds. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? Aren't you guys a little small to be bosses? Mind telling me your weakness? The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. But my life is mine! Do -do 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 Crap. 
Why do they scream like that? Ah, I guess I can't shoot them. Ouch. Let's go ahead and heal up. One chain brother down. So what are you gonna do? Shoot a fireball at me? How about that? Shoot a fireball at me. Slower than regular on arm combat, but still. Anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna lug this thing up the stairs because I'm that strong. Fuck it. I guess I am. Yep, I'll just jump out of here. That'll be, that's it. What's that sound? D and D character, right, right, right. Yeah, he would cast Nishul's Magic Aura on cheap-ass weapons, like regular daggers, like regular 10 gold daggers. And put plus one or plus two on it, you know, low enough to be believable. But, uh... Oh! Hey, Beckett! Bank an 18 experience! Oh, can't talk to Beckett, I don't think. Beckett! This conversation, that, that, that behavior is pretty normal for Malakavia, and I'm sure the prince doesn't care. Outstanding. There was some doubt by members of my court as to your ability, but I placed my faith wisely. Finally, the Ankoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Frequently. Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. I know, 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 I know. Know what? Why would I... You know what? We're here now, so this is what we're doing. How do you say alliance in Chinese? What? Preposterous. No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I've been taken for a ride. And you believed them. They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Lots of people have. Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hope to create dissension in the ranks. Rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. Parenthood. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, even if it's true, let's not have this guy think otherwise. Paranoia again. Let's open the box. Oh, what have you assessed my pimp so cloak far? malfunctioned. Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <coughs> why won't it? Why won't it open, Beckett? 
And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You, you and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Sure. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. T and T and Key have the same amount of letters. Oh, yes, how foolish of me. That would be the sound, reasonable course of action. A priceless piece of history, by all means. Run out and pick up some TNT. Brilliant. That's why you should have your own TV show. How have you gotten this far? Here's what we're going to do. I know of someone who can help. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. Oh, yeah. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Is he in the bathroom? You can always find mortals in there. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. <laughs> Damn aliens. That's who did it, right? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Neat. I would have taken the opportunity to see if mattresses can fly. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew. Provided I stop dangling them headfirst over the side. I hear hunters bounce. Did they? No. Only the stupid and careless get caught by hunters. They serve their purpose in the natural order. What purpose do I serve? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used quite ingeniously as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. When you get him out, write a comic book about it so I can relive the adventure. It's not that I don't love walking into the heart of danger to curry favor with the local magistrate of the hour. But, actually, that's exactly it. I'd rather not get involved in the politics of it. Besides, I'd better document the sarcophagus before Sebastian's goon smashes it open. All right, continue the tale. You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. Can I borrow your airship? I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. I want something from your brain. Excellent. Tell me more of this mysterious Leopold character. 
The society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Obfuscate will serve you well around the hunters. Is the box Pandora's? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. You would, would you? If I was a mirror, who is the who is that person you're staring at? Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I devour knowledge like a great worm devours the corpse of society. I consider myself a seeker of reluctant information. Scholar sounds like academia. Ugh. How versed are you in the occult? Meh. Then you wouldn't know that Dracula, the fictional vampire of movie fame, was very real. His real name was Vlad Tepes, and he was a Jemisi, though he was not Sabat. By some accounts, he still lives into these nights. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. And maybe I do have more questions. Another morsel of your brain? Excellent. What of the thin-blooded? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. To Leopold, I creep. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. What idea? Prince, do you have anything to say? Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? The sarcophagus is secure. I wish my finances were similar. I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. I fought beasts beyond imagination, coated myself in the filth of kind. Point made. Damn. Yes, I wonder something. Witches? No, nothing about witches. Tell me of the Eastern Kindred, who are not kindred. Traditionally, the Kuei Jin have stayed in Asian territory, and the Kindred Europe, and later North America. But recently, they invaded the West Coast, killing off a substantial number of Anarchs. They lack the organization of the Camarilla, and think nothing of breaking the masquerade. Though we share similar traits, there is no fraternity between us. We embrace. They rise from the grave. They do not know the pleasure of blood. They are without clan. No, oh, yes. They believe our kind to be inferior. They are as much of a threat as the wolves. Wolves? Werewolves. I can still recall a time when cities were surrounded by miles of forests full of the beasts. But progress has taken care of that problem. I wonder something else. Witches? Still not witches. But, what's in the box? If you didn't take the time to ask, perhaps we'd know by now. As I mentioned before, my concern is that it pertains something supernatural. Now, Beckett has waved this theory altogether. The city is alight with dread. Perhaps it's an antediluvian. Antediluvian? A joke. The antediluvians are the mythical progenitors of each of the clans for whom they trace their bloodlines. And according to mythology, descendants of Cain, the legendary first vampire. That name sounds eerily familiar. As in the biblical Cain and Abel? Before you put too much stock in it, realize that the church and all of its mythos are blends of kindred and mortal meddling, whips to regulate weak minds. This is all Beckett's field of expertise. If you want a lesson, merely ask him. I will bother Beckett. 
I wonder if he'll actually say something on that note. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly, Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Don't you know it. Um, I wonder something from your brain. Excellent. <laughs> My head is full of nothing right now. I am gone. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He ha Yes, yes. What idea? Well, we're running a tad bit over, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Surrounded by all these lovely paintings. And my 18 experience points. And my broadsword. And what else do we got? Alright, I should see Pesha. And next time, we'll be doing that. Until then, farewell, vampire.